Race number three on the Castrol GTX Cup Series schedule. It brings us to the Sin City 400 at Las Vegas. On the pole, Ryan Cooper alongside of him, Zed Weinstein in the 44. Chris Dalton in the 20 in the 42 starts in the side of row two, alongside Stephen Weber, third row. Johnny Gardner and Dylan Hughes, fourth row. Andrew Baranda in the 11 and Derek Walker in the 26 car. And we are set to go racing at Los at Sin City. The Sin City 400 is underway. Ryan Cooper gets the jump on Zed Weinstein. Chris Dalton in the 42. Goes to the inside quickly on the inside. He makes a run at Ryan Cooper. And here comes Johnny Gardner, the Daytona 500 champ. Three wide, out of turn two. Just amazing racing to start off the right day at Vegas. Who's gonna lead the first lap? Johnny Gardner does. He leads the first lap. Steven Weber in the second position now in the Trevor Bain car, the 21 machine. Andrew Baranda in the third spot. Jasmine Acosta in the 48. You saw a little shot of her right there. There's, there's the... She's trying for the fourth spot. But it's Gardner out in front of the Daytona 500 champ. And here comes Steven Weber on the inside. Oh, I think, I don't know who led that lap, that was, if that had been the last lap, that was awfully close. Steven Weber out in front. Now in the 21 car, the Trevor Bain machine for the Wood Brothers. Johnny Gardner still in second position, but here comes Fred Christopher. On the inside, three wide for the third spot, Fred Christopher in the three. Trey Campbell in the 24 car. And Campbell, I believe, is going to take second. Yes, he does. So move the Jeff Gordon car. Trey Campbell in the third, uh, second position. Fred Christopher in the three car in third. Meanwhile, the leader is still Steven Weber. Right there, there's Fred Christopher, and then there's the one car, Brian Cooper, our pole sitter, one Chevy in the double zero car, the Aaron's Dream Machine, runs this race in the third position, or runs fifth, I should say, excuse me. In the Battle of the Go Daddy cars, right there, Kendrick Walker and Johnny Gardner, Walker in a five, Gardner in a seven. And Johnny Gardner has the has the spot briefly. Because here comes the six car of Matthew Haggard, the four car of Adam Chambers pushing him. And here comes Haggard on the inside of the six. Six laps in the books. Fred Christopher in the three car, he rides this race in fifth. There's the one of Ryan Cooper. 24 car of, of Trey Campbell in the second position. Oh! Cooper pushing him big time. Here comes Cooper on the inside of Trey Campbell. This is for the number two spot. Leader is still Steven Weber in a 21. Now they close in as they come down on turn number four. Let's go through the field. There's Steven Weber on, out in front. There's the back of the field right there. 
Dalton Day in the 17, the 14 car of Ken Johnson. Aaron Reed in the 78. Nick Knotts in the 2. 27 of Jacob Rodriguez. Dylan Petit and Trey Roberts. Dylan Hughes in the 32. And oh, we got. Oh, we got trouble! Trouble out of turn number two. Richard Anderson on his roof. A grinding crash out of the second turn. Oh. What happened here? And there's a race back to the line between Steven Weber and Trey Campbell. Who's going to win the race? And there comes Campbell on the inside. They better slow down. And Steven Weber wins the race back to the line. Boy, was that close between him and Trey Campbell. That was awfully close. Campbell goes by. What's going on here? No. Let's go back in replay and see what happened in the wreck between that in the wreck, in the wreck that sent Richard Anderson upside down. There's Richard Anderson. He's upside down right here. Let's go back to what happened. And look at all of them is going to bunch up right here. That's. So we can get a better view. Anderson's riding a four wide mix between himself, Rob McCabe, Dougie Shears, John Douglas, and the nine car of CJ Sorensen, Trevor Reinhardt, and the 88. Let's see what happened right there. Ooh, and Anderson squeezes Trevor Reinhardt up into the wall. Reinhardt does a good job from keeping from hitting Anderson a second time. Everybody scatters down. We saw Nick Knotts actually go to the grass at one point in the video. Now let's have another look from the... This is real time right here. goodness and we all know when the slide on the concrete actually kills speed so but Richard Anderson must not have felt that did not feel good must that must not have felt good for him the fasten all car just you know, pretty much uh, scraped up let me say and fasten your seat belts everybody let's go on board with Richard Anderson from from the cock from inside his car. Whew. Not what you want to hear inside a race car. Sparks and that's the he's got he got a good view of the track, but from the wrong end. So, and there's a race back to the line between Steven Weber and Trey Campbell. Ooh, that may have been for the win, too. And there's the lights are on the pace car are still on, so it looks to me Steven Weber is going to be your winner of the Sin City 400. It's a race I believe will not get restarted here. And here they come out, turn number four. And crossing the line is going to be Steven Weber, and he will win the Sin City 400. Trey Kimball finishes second. Ryan Cooper third. Matthew Haggard fourth. One Chevy in the double zero finishes in fifth position. So congratulations to the Trevor Bain car. He gets the win here at Sin and the Sin City 400, which unfortunately finishes under caution. Boy. 
Good thing this is a game, obviously, because that would have been, not have been a pretty crash with Richard Anderson in the Fastenal car. There's the results right there. Weber, Campbell, Cooper, Matthew Haggard, Juan Chevy, Fred Christopher, uh, Alexander Dawson, Derek Walker, Matthew Rodriguez, Kendrick Walker, rounds up the top ten. And there's the rest of the running order right here. Here's the rest of the running order right here from 11th on down to the bottom. Johnny Gardner, 13th, Adam Chambers. And Richard Anderson retired. Chris Dalton somehow got into the crash too. He ended up 34th. And Trevor Reinhardt ends up 33rd. Not a good day for the Dale Jr. car. But Steven Weber wins the, the nail biter in Las Vegas. Boy, that was a nail biter in the race to the line. So this is race number four at the Cracker Barrel 500 from Atlanta.